Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rex, and this is part 11 of Shadow of the Colossus. Today, uh, we're gonna be killing one of the... I don't want to say hard, because it's not hard, but what I want to say it's... Uh... Okay, so I said that the turtle was fairly annoying. I also said that the water dragon was fairly annoying, but this one, oh my god, this one. More than annoying, I would say, like, if I if I would have to, like, explain the battle in just, like, one word, I would say bullshit. <laughs> ah, you'll see, it's, um, it's just so much bullshit, that fight, but, um, but yeah, I guess, you know, because this is a pretty far road as well, uh, I want to take the time now that uh, this is probably going to be my last video before Christmas because I don't I don't usually post videos on the weekend um, so I wanted to you know just give you guys a, a Merry Christmas and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the holiday and uh, hope you guys watch my videos during the holiday <laughs> but yeah now we have actually entered the desert. You can see the bridge. That's a pretty badass bridge, by the way. I'm gonna make a lot of just random conversation, just because it's actually really far. We have to get to the very end, where you see those clouds by the end. We have to get over there, so... It's pretty... It's a ways from here, but... um, I've always liked the, the architecture of that bridge. It's so, like like grand in scale. I mean, who would build such a thing? And the funniest part is that why why would they want to build that like I don't I don't see the need for like an actual bridge, you know what I mean? Like they could just make like some sort of stairs or ramp and then just make like a road. Like <laughs> why would they make a bridge? But oh, jeez. Yeah, that's pretty big. I mean, even still though, I mean, they could make a ramp, like, easily. I don't know. It feels like it would have saved, like, so much work. <laughs> but, uh, we're here. Um, well, we're not actually here, but, um, it's the start of, I guess, where we have to... Or is it here, or is it a little further away? Let's see... Yeah. Oh, we're here. Okay. So we have to go a little around this cannon, the canyon. There's a little, there's gonna be that, you see that little, little way there. Uh, we will not be able to bring the horse, sadly, but that's fine. He's probably used to being left alone. <laughs> so we're gonna go down here. Let's see where we are. Yep. All right. Let's get a little barn here. We're actually pretty close already, but uh, again, there's not going to be any cinematic before the actual boss cinematic, so we pretty much have to assume that this is the place, and um, again, more so because there is no light in here, so we will not actually be able to use the sword at all, as you can see, uh, the camera is a little crazy here, but yeah, we will not be able to use the light of the sword here because there's no light, so... We're gonna have to to roll with it. <laughs> wow, that's talking about light. Though. That's a lot of light over there. Okay. Just a little bit more, and we're actually there. This is another boss that I've always had fond memories of, or I guess memories of. I don't want to say fond. <laughs> It's um, it's such a pain in the ass, this guy, but, I mean, when you have such a boss, like, such a pain in the ass boss, you, I guess it just burns itself in your memory, and, uh, I mean, honestly, like, I haven't played, guys, I haven't played this game in, like, years, I mean, we're talking about years and years, um, obviously I've been doing practice runs, so I, you know, learned the battles and everything, and I can, uh, I can give you guys a, a really nice, you know, walkthrough of it. But, you know, I um, I remember this guy. This is one of the few Colossus that I just deeply remembered. 
<laughs> Nothing's gonna make me forget this guy. <laughs> but uh, we're here. This is the stadium, so we're gonna have to make this long jump. But as soon as we make it, we get the cinematic. And I present to you guys the 11th Colossus. So guys, welcome to bullshit, the 11th Colossus. So this guy will ram you, as you can see, he'll try to ram you, and if he does succeed, he's gonna knock you down for a while. Like, that actually lasts like a good 4 to 5 seconds. Let me, let me just let you see it. You see that it's gonna last a while, and now the thing is, he can actually ram you again while you're unconscious on the floor and that's the big problem with this guy that he can literally just keep you stunned there on the floor for a while what you have to do though you climb one of these ones and you let him tackle it that's gonna lower one of those bracers it's hard to figure out at first um, if you don't know what to do but um before I go down I guess I want to explain just a little bit of this guy um, he can claw you for like double damage doesn't hit hard though as much as it's just annoying. Um, but as you can see, he has no weak points. Um, he's just completely covered in armor. So what we do, so we go down, we pick this up, and we have to light this on fire. Um, the fire of it went out when it led the floor, so we have to turn it up again. So we hit this, and we turn it on fire. Now, the fire is going to make him scared. Which is actually kind of funny. Um, what do you do with this guy? Uh, you have to push him to this edge. If you do that, then he's gonna fall down and break his armor. The thing is that that fire will not last long enough for you to be able to do that. So you have to pick the fire from this brazier over here instead of the one on the other side. But um, we're gonna have to wait until he comes here again. There he coming. He's gonna jump it off. There you go. So as you can see, this guy is extremely fast and really strong as well. The size really doesn't matter for this guy. Uh, it makes it so much tougher, just the fact that he's smaller. But we're gonna scare him with the fire. Uh, he'll make some scared um, swipes at you if you get too close, and those actually hurt quite a bit. So you don't need to really get close to him though, just... Um, just start walking towards him just a little bit, just keep this distance that I'm maintaining and try to pull him towards this ledge here. He'll eventually fall down. Now his armor is going to break and it's going to leave open his weak point. Now remember, remember to change the weapon to your sword. You don't want to be trying to attack him with that fire thing, it's not going to work. So now, this is the tricky part. You have to land on top of him. Let's see if I make it. Negative. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut up until I am uh, at, a, at a nice spot where I can actually jump on him. Alright, let's see if I make it from here. No, he's gonna run over. There you go. Now, uh, it's really just hit him. I mean, this is the only weak point that he has, and because he's smaller, he's much weaker than the other ones, so... Really, like, just three hits are gonna take him uh, all the way down. If you do three charged hits, though, but that's the problem. It's gonna be really hard to make those ch uh, charged hits. Because, again, he's smaller, so he can juggle you for more. But, um, I actually were, was pretty nice to you guys and skipped the entire part that is just annoying. Which is the entire part of uh, not being able to jump on him and then trying to get to the part where I was so you can jump on him. He's gonna like, you know, knock you down, uh, ramming into you and not letting you move, which is really annoying. But, uh, yeah, you guys don't need to really see that annoying part. But let's see if we can take a couple of hits on this guy, if he's gonna let us. Uh, but this is definitely the other annoying part. He's literally not gonna let you hit him, like, at all. You can see that I'm, I'm doing my best here to even try to do my swing, but he's not letting me at all. He's not, he, this is one of those fights where you will not going to be able to do a full charged up attack. 
Um, so all that you have to do, or all that you can do, is just simply try to hit him with like semi-charged attacks, which is really is a pain in the ass, to be honest. There is one. You see that it hurts him for s much more than what a normal Colossus would hit for. Let's see if I can do one more um, before he actually throws me down. There you go! I managed to do a full charged one, so that killed him. You can see that one charged hit, like, literally takes half of his HP. So, as annoying as he is, he's really weak if you do get those hits on him. Hopefully I can escape now! <laughs> oh god, so nasty. God, I hate this boss so much. But thankfully, we're done with them. They're getting much harder. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, that's the the whisper. But um, if you guys noticed, I mean, it's getting much tougher now. Um, they're putting us uh, a lot of things that we have to do and accomplish before we can even start hitting them, and uh, it's getting really hard for me to do everything in one whole take. You know, flawless and everything. But, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> now we get 11 figures, and the 11 idol is destroyed. Only five more to go. I wonder how hard this game would be without the, the light of the sword, I mean... Imagine that for a second. Thy next foe is... Paradise floats upon the lake. A silent beam wields thunder. A moving bridge to cross to higher ground. You see, with with those tips, like I wouldn't be able to find the boss if we didn't have like the light of the sword. That would be impossible. But um, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. It was a pretty hardcore battle, or I guess not a, not as hardcore. I managed to to cut down the entire annoying part that doesn't really pose such an importance to the fight. But hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, as always, guys, have a great day.